A 40 year old female presented with fatigue, dyspnea, dizziness. On examination, her face appears to be pale. Which next investigation will give more clarity about her condition? See, now this is also a very basic question of clinical practice. If you see a patient who is having symptoms like dyspnea, shortness of breath, she is having what? Fatigue also, dizziness also, and face appears to be pale. Some of you might be thinking about jaundice and you might be marking LFT. No, remember here, if eyes are yellow, icterus, then liver function test here, face is pale. Face is pale. It means mostly anemic she is, right? So you have to do what? CBC. You should check hemoglobin first. Okay, so let's learn a very, very important aspect of clinical practice. Simple, simple examination. That is called a pickle. P for pallor. Suppose if the patient appears to be pale, you are suspecting mostly anemia, right? So which investigation should be done here now? CBC. You have to do complete blood profile. You have to check the level of hemoglobin. I for icterus. If you see eyes are also yellow, then you have to check liver function test LFT. If you see cyanosis, bluish discoloration, it means what? Saturation of oxygen is less. SpO2 should be done. You should also be doing ABG, arterial blood gas analysis. If you see clubbing of fingers, you ask the patient to do like this, to touch the nails like this. If you can see a window, okay, it is fine. If you cannot see a window, it means there is the clubbing of nails, right? So this test is called as what? Shamrock's window test. Okay, this is called as Shamrock's window test. Whenever there will be pathology in heart and lungs, yes, you can suspect the clubbing of fingers right now. So if you suspect any pathology in lungs and heart, which investigations should be done? Yes, you should be doing ECG, X-ray of the chest, X-ray of chest, right? You should also be doing a lipid profile. You should also be checking sugar level, sugar level, right? All these points we are supposed to check. Now, what about the, see, what about the coilonychia, spoon-shaped nail, spoon-shaped nail. In which condition you can see spoon-shaped nail whenever there will be a deficiency of iron, so if you see, if you see nail is like a spoon, that is called a coilonychia, you have to check complete iron profile where you are going to see serum, ferritin, total iron binding capacity, everything. Now suppose if I give you a scenario here, if a 45 year old female is there, she is presenting with coilonychia, iron deficiency, anemia and dysphagia and dysphagia. Which syndrome you are expecting here? Yes, this is a case of plumber Vinson syndrome. This is also called a Kelly Patterson syndrome. This is also called as Kelly Patterson syndrome. This you will be learning in, in the general part of surgery in esophagus. You will also be learning in pathology, right? If you see a lymph adenopathy, if you see lymph adenopathy, where can you see lymph adenopathy? Yes, in a case of malignancies, in the case of infections, viral infections, like infectious mono, mononucleosis also, right? So in all these conditions, you can see lymph adenopathy. Edema, swelling, whenever there will be deficiency of albumin, whenever there will be deficiency of albumin, right? Yes. So because of hypoalbuminemia in blood vessels, what will happen? Decreased oncotic pressure because of that increased hydrostatic pressure because of that leakage of blood from the vessels and there will be edema. So whenever you see this, yes, you have to see liver function test also and a renal function test also. Okay, so with the help of this pickle, we have understood how many investigations can be done in different different conditions.